In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, Paul says something very powerful to those of us who are in the ministry. He writes in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 1, Therefore, having this ministry, by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart. That verse means so much to me. It's meant so much to me for several years now. Because uh, as a pastor, and, and those of you that are in ministry, you know this, we struggle, I think, in two primary areas. We struggle with pride, and we struggle with discouragement. And this verse seems to speak to both of those areas. In the way of pride, I think we struggle a lot because when God blesses our church, it's easy to feel good about yourself. It's easy to feel good about right decisions that you've made that maybe they paid off big or, you know, maybe you had a powerful worship set or maybe you just, you know, you you did something that really helped someone. It really impacted their life and they come and share with you how much it meant to them. And if we're not careful, when we go through maybe a series of several wins and, and we see God do some really exciting things, it's so easy easy to let pride uh, really slip into our heart. And I think the way that Paul guarded himself against that is he said, what I have, I don't have because I'm smart or because I'm intelligent or because I'm super spiritual. As a matter of fact, in Philippians, he listed all of his credentials and he said, I count them all as nothing. Uh, it's, It's Christ that's everything. So I think it's easy for us to sometimes feel good about ourselves and feel like we're really doing the right things. But what Paul says is, know this ministry I have? It's solely by the mercy of God. It's because God is blessing us. It's because God has shown favor to us. So I think it kind of speaks to our pride in that sense. In the sense of discouragement, this is what Paul said. Having this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart. And how important that is for those of us that are in the ministry and we understand the pressures that come with the ministry to not lose heart. And once again, how did Paul guard himself from discouragement? I think it goes back to that all-important phrase, by the mercies of God, that we are allowed to do what we do. I've heard pastors say before, so disappointing, but I've heard pastors say, I don't deserve to be treated this way or... I don't deserve this when someone maybe disagrees with the decision they've made or maybe a family will leave a church and there'll be some hurt there and whatever the case is. I think what, I think what will guard us and guard our hearts is when we have the view and we have the philosophy of ministry that Paul had and we try to adopt that as our own, that the only thing that I have is by the mercy of God. And the ministry I have is not built upon my own ability. It's not built upon my own intellect. It's not built on how spiritual I am or how well I communicate or any of that. The ministry that I have is by the mercy of God. And I think when you and I adopt that philosophy into our hearts, we begin to enjoy not only the ministry more, we enjoy the people better. And I know for us at Preaching Christ Church, We have really tried to not let a culture set in that those are our people or this is our people. Uh, We under, I hope that we understand Christians, we are God's people. And what God is doing in our church, even though it's very exciting to us, it's not the only thing that He's doing. He's doing so many great works all over our community. And what we want to do is have the mindset we are just a part of the great work that God is doing in His church. So whatever you and I struggle with in ministry, whatever discouragement we go to, let's remember what Paul says. Let's let that just really steady our souls and strengthen our hearts. Let's let, it, let's let us really sink this in, that the ministry that you and I have, it's by the mercy of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart.